Greetings and welcome to lecture number five on internal flow. Uh, this session we are going to discuss uh, the flow through pipe. Flow through pipe, uh, there are uh, various arrangements are possible in flow through pipe. In flow through pipe, uh, the, uh, there is a possibility of flow through a very long pipeline. Then flow through a pipeline, which uh, the main pipeline may consist of uh, different diameter pipe that is called as compounding. And in some cases, uh, uh, there are some, in one particular main pipeline, uh, the different branches are there. So in that case, the flow takes place in a parallel arrangement. So in summary, there are three, three possibilities, uh, flow through a uniform diameter long pipe and flow through a if compound pipelines, so where uh, the entire pipeline may, con may consist of two, three uh, different diameter pipes and flow through a parallel arrangement where the main pipeline divides into uh, two to three uh, sub branches. Uh, so these are the uh, cases we are going to discuss in this particular session. And each case, so we will see how to analyze the flow through these pipes. So first case flow through a long pipe. Uh, now, if we consider a long pipeline uh, of diameter D and length L, uh, carrying liquid from reservoir A to another reservoir B, as shown in figure, let we can say this HA and HB uh, be the constant heights of the liquid surfaces in the reservoir A and B respectively, above the center of the pipeline. Let uh, ZA and ZB uh, be the heights of the centers of the pipe ends connected to the reservoir A and B respectively. Now, if V is the mean velocity of flow through the pipe, uh, then the head loss due to friction uh, that we can calculate. The head loss due to friction if V is the mean velocity. So this is the situation. Uh, so practically, there is a possibility uh, uh, the two different levels we can consider. So even the irrigation, most of the theory is applicable for irrigation pipeline. So there we can say, if, suppose uh, the water is transferred from one location to another location and separated by elevation. And in that case, uh, that elevation indicates whether that water reaches that particular, because obviously we can see uh, if we apply the Bernoulli's equation here and here, the total energy at uh, the reservoir A is obviously greater than total energy at B. And if after the flow of the reservoir B level is like this, then the difference in level it generally gives the losses occurred in between. So there are various losses in between because this is even this is a pipe section, the major long pipe section, the major losses are the loss due to friction, which is in this particular case, as this is a uniform diameter pipeline, we can calculate by using the relation FLV square by two IGB, where F is the friction factor of this particular pipe, L is the length of the pipe, V is the velocity through the velocity of flow through the pipe, and D is the diameter of the pipe. Uh, then head loss at the entrance of the pipe, uh, we have studied various losses, uh, head losses. So at the entry, it is uh, generally considered as 0.5 V square by two IGB. At the exit, uh, so there are only two minor losses where the velocity changes its magnitude here from zero to some velocity V and here V to zero velocity. That's why the velocity uh, is zero to some velocity. So there is a change in magnitude. So we have to consider the minor losses as well. So head loss at the entrance of the pipe is given that is 0.5 V square by twice. Then head loss at the exit uh, V square by twice. Uh, then the total head loss, uh, even if we apply the Bernoulli's equation between A and B. So every time Bernoulli's equation <coughs> makes the thing simple or easily understandable. So whenever there is a flow take, uh, taking place across any uh, test section, you can apply the Bernoulli's equation and you can measure uh, the heights there. And if we go with first principle, it is always easy to understand. So similarly, we apply the Bernoulli's equation between A and B. We can say we call this section one and section two respectively uh, in the reservoir. So here at A, the total head is uh, there is only a potential head present. At A, uh, no pressure is there. Pressure is atmospheric, and uh, uh, we can say velocity is zero. 
and only elevation is there, potential head. So H A plus Z A, that is the total head. Okay. Then hey, total head at B. Uh, so that is what is remaining, that is H B plus Z B. Uh, plus losses. So according to modified Bernoulli's equation, so Bernoulli's equation at A, that is equal to Bernoulli's equation at B plus the various losses on so that is called as a small HL. Small, small HL in this case is H A plus small HL. Uh, that is uh, actually the head loss, a yeah, minor loss and uh, major losses. So addition of this, there are two types of minor losses at the entry and exit and one frictional losses. So this is the case. So this minus this, that is nothing but uh, the capital H. So this is minus, that is equal to, if you rearrange this, we take common term that is V square by 2 G common, and this is 1.5 plus FL by D. So we can get the expression because this is equal to H. So H, this is nothing but H. Uh, actually, if we neglect all these losses, then it is equal to H. If we consider all the losses, then H is nothing but this. So this is equivalent to losses. So this is the formula of H. So with the help of this expression, we can calculate what is our suppose if we have to calculate the uh, velocity in that case. Uh, if we know the H, we can calculate uh, velocity. If the discharge, uh, if it is given, uh, then we can uh, calculate what is the uh, supply mean or diameter of the pipeline that we can calculate. Then if both are given, then what should be the length provided? So generally in length given, so uh, such kind of problems, uh, only uh, that H is most of the problem it is given. So only either you have to calculate discharge or diameter that is diameter of the supply mean. So this is the analysis when uh, flow is taking place through a long pipeline. So only we apply the Bernoulli's equation, in fact, modified Bernoulli's equation in that because we are considering the losses here. So applying modified Bernoulli's equation and resolving, we can arrive this equation. This is uh, flow through a long pipeline. Now H is the difference in the liquid surface. Uh, that is between uh, in the reservoir A and B. So pipes in series, or it is also called as a compound pipeline. Suppose this is the entire pipeline uh, uh, we have seen in previous slide. If it is made up of uh, the pipes of different diameters, then this particular arrangement is called as pipes in series or compound pipe. Uh, so if the pipeline connecting to reservoirs so is made up of several pipes of diameter D1, D2, D3, and length L1, L2, L3, etc., all connected in series as shown in figure. Then the difference in liquid surface levels is equal to the sum of uh, the heights in all the sections. Further, the discharge through the each pipe will be the same. Thus, with reference to figure, the following equations may be applicable here. So, if uh, that H that equal to so all the losses that we have seen in previous, H is equal to the losses encountered in the pipeline. That is considering minor losses and major losses. So H, that is a difference in level, which is equal to the losses. Uh, again, if we go with the first principle, you'll come to this equation. So as we have done the same practice in previous case, so we have written this direct equation. So here we can say that H is equal to first that is loss at the entry plus frictional loss of pipe one plus loss due to sudden contraction plus frictional loss in pipe two plus loss due to sudden enlargement in that case V2 minus V3 bracket square upon pi G plus loss in uh, frictional losses in pipe three and plus exit losses. So all these losses, if we consider then uh, this all constitutes the head difference, that is H. Uh, but uh, if we see the physics here, so the what is the water entering according to law of conservation of mass, mass entering into the pipe is mass living. So mass flow rate remains constant. So consequently, it is incompressible fluid. The volume flow rate is also remains constant. So Q is equal to Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q3. That is the relation. And if, however, most of the uh, numericals for long pipeline, generally these minor losses are neglected. Then uh, the equation that is H, that is also equal to HF, 
that is addition of all losses that is uh, hf1 plus hf2 plus hf3 so these are the two important relations for pipes in series if the pipes are connected in series then the discharge through each pipe is same but the head loss total head loss is the summation of head loss in each pipe section this is hf1 plus hf2 plus hf3 so this is the analysis for pipes in series or compound pipe secondly when the pipes are connected in parallel that means the main pipe divides into two or three sub pipes and the, uh, again uh, these pipelines are connected or uh, further it is joined to the main pipe right? then the pipe is set to be in parallel so you can see the pipe are set to be in parallel the main pipeline divides into two or more pipelines which again join together downstream and continues as a main line may be seen from the figure that the rate of discharge uh, in this particular case in the main uh, line is equal to sum of the discharges in each parallel pipeline so discharge there is a addition of discharges because the main line divides into two or three in this case there are two that's why two one is three but uh, both main pipes line are connected uh, to the same so even if you consider this passage or this passage any passage you consider the head loss is same so head loss in this particular case when the pipes are arranged in parallel the loss of head in each pipe is same so that's why h is equal to either hf or hf1 or hf2 because the flow is taking place either in this path or in this path any one path if you consider still the h value is common for uh, both cases that's why h that is equal to hf that is equal to hf1 equal to hf considering this this is a very short length uh, so major length is the parallel so if you consider only this then it becomes so neglect this particular length so only we are considering the uh, head loss in this particular section because the total it's like a velocity for uh, sorry voltage drop so ultra high voltage or electric circuit in parallel electric circuit in series the similar logic is applicable here that correlation so it is analogous to that electric circuit so that h is equal to hf that is equal to hf1 that is equal to hf3 so exactly the reverse relations are there in pipes in parallel pipes in series the discharge is same and uh, there is addition of head losses and vice versa in pipes in parallel here the discharge is addition of both and the head losses are constant Uh, then we take one numerical here the pump delivers water from a tank a to uh, water surface in the elevation of 110 to tank b water surface elevation is uh, this is uh, this is the situation where the water surface elevation in tank a is 110 and uh, it is lifted to tank b where the water surface elevation is 170 meter the suction pipeline is given So D one L one F one is given that is forty five meter long, and its friction factor is given. Now here we can consider friction factor because the value is point not something. If it is point not not something, so generally it is considered as a coefficient of friction. It mentioned friction factor is generally Darcy Weisbach coefficient, and thirty five meters centimeter in dia. Uh, so this uh, the uh, specifications of suction line is given. the delivery pipe is 950 meter long f value is also given and 25 cm in diameter the head discharge relationship for pump is given uh, given by hp that is equal to 90 minus uh, 8000 q square so uh, the head developed by the pump that relation is given in terms of q where hp is in meter and q in meter cube per second So calculate discharge in the pipeline and the power delivered uh, by the pump. Now in this situation, uh, we can easily understand this is the situation of pipes in series because the two different diameter pipes are connected to each other, but uh, in between there is a pump pulse. So assuming the practical example, so we consider use the notation for first pipe that is uh, suffix B, so that is a suffix one. That is diameter length uh, is given and friction factor F1. Then second pipeline that is D2. 
converted into meter L2 and friction factor F. And this relation is given as So this much information is given. We have to calculate the discharge in the pipeline. So again, in order to calculate uh, for discharge, first of all, we have to calculate uh, the frictional losses. Uh, so only with the help of this information, we have to solve the problem. So frictional head for the entire system uh, that is uh, given by the relation, uh, that is HF is equal to, if you consider the entire losses, that is uh, entry loss and exit loss also. So this is the expression. And here it is uh, not mentioned anywhere. So we can consider the total losses inside the pipeline. This 0.5 V1. So according to continuity equation, now we eliminate V1 from this V1 or V2 from this equation. So if we rearrange this V1 uh, in terms of V2 is 0.5 because A1, A2s are given and di diameters are given so we can easily develop relation between V1 and V2. So V1, we can replace with V2. So only uh, this HF will come in terms of uh, V1 or V2. So this is V1 term. So by putting the value of F1, L1, D1, so it comes around 3.086 V1 square by 5G. Plus, if we consider this term, it comes around this. Now, we, if you substitute, instead of uh, V1, if you substitute this, rearranging, we get HF in terms of first V2, and then we convert in terms of Q. So HF in terms of Q, we have applied. And now we can apply the uh, a static head is given. So the total head uh, of the pump, HP is given. Obviously, uh, we can apply but knowledge equation at these two hand aids. But uh, here, uh, the static head of the pump that is 170 minus. So, this is the actual head of the pump. And uh, the pump required uh, this much head that is HP. But at the same time, the pump required to overcome some energy to frictional head is also. So, the total head of the pump that is HP that is uh, also equal to the head delivered by the pump. So pump requires to deliver the head, which is equal to static head, that is lift potential. So water is to be lifted from this level to this level. So this level is, uh, uh, that is 110 meter from the ground level, suppose we can consider. This level is 170 meter from the ground level. So the difference gives the static head. So that is static plus frictional head. Now, in this case, uh, the head delivered, that is HP value is given in uh, in terms of Q. So we put this value. Static head is 60. And HF is given, that is frictional head is this much. Now, only unknown is Q. We can calculate Q. Once we give, that is a discharge in the pipeline. And the power required uh, from that, we can calculate. If we substitute this Q value here, we can calculate HP. And then power is equal to gamma or WQ HP. So from that, we can calculate the total power required. So here, uh, this way we can solve the problem. So most, there are large varieties in flow through pipe problems. So uh, you have to use your common sense and understanding of the statement is important. But wherever you stick uh, the same problem, you can apply the knowledge equation at this and this and that. From that also, we can, uh, if we derive this, then we, uh, we get this value. If you, if you, wherever you feel uh, there is a confusion in the problem, go with first principle. That is applying Bernoulli's equation at A and B. So what we have here, we can surface that is uh, everything is zero. Here everything is zero. Only Z2 is in this case is 60 and plus HF. So Z2 plus 60 plus HF. And on the left hand side, there is only HP because all terms are zero. So this is left hand side that is uh, the, burn, uh, the energy at this level plus HP that is equal to energy uh, at this level plus HF. So energy at this level is static head 60 plus frictional head. So even if we uh, go with Bernoulli's equation, still you will arrive to the same expression. So, but if you know what is the role of pump, then by common sense also you can use this because the total head required that is generally 
uh, for the pump uh, that is generally the head required to lift the water uh, so this much head is required plus some frictional head so the frictional head so this is the standard formula if you know this you can use otherwise go with first principle you come to the same equation as well this is one example so now we'll one see that is in pipes in parallel now here the pipeline of 600 mm diameter so this is the situation pipeline of 600 mm diameter is 1.5 meter long so this is a 600 mm diameter and 1.5 meter long to increase the discharge another line of the same diameter means again 600 mm diameter is introduced parallel to the first strain first in the second half of the length means this is the first half of the length is 750 the second half of the length is this pipe is introduced so this arrangement is in parallel a friction factor uh, everywhere is 0 0.04 and the head at inlet is uh, 3 meter sorry 0 0.3 meter or we can say 300 mm calculate the increase in discharge and neglect the minor losses in this case now maybe uh, this diagram is not given in the numerical but based on the information we can construct the diagram so if other end is not given it is what should be the increase in discharge that is the free discharge it is asked that's what here if the uh, if it is connected to another reservoir and that level is given then uh, we can draw here otherwise this diagram which is a graphical representation of the statement so first of all we write the given quantities diameter of the pipeline is given this 0.6 meter length of the pipe that is 1.5 kilometer coefficient of friction f 0.04 head at inlet that is 0.3 meter head at outlet is considered as zero therefore head loss we can consider whatever the free flow is there so head loss hf we can consider as 0.3 minus zero so the difference in level of the two reservoirs or the difference in level between in the head level energy level that is nothing but because all the energy is consumed to work because this is a horizontal pipe so all the level is consumed to work on the friction so you can say the head loss is hf is also because we are neglecting minor losses that's why hf we are consuming length of the another pipeline uh, now this is l1 and this is uh, this is l1 and this is l2 so l2 the length is 750 d2 is 0.6 l1 uh, uh, so uh, same is the l1 and d1 so diameter uh, of both pipes are same so same we have to calculate what is the increase in discharge so first of all we will calculate the discharge from the single pipe then and then we can uh, analyze how much increase is there so area of the pipe uh, we can calculate now in each pipeline of same diameter so area everywhere is same so that is required for calculation now first we consider uh, the uh, the case one that is if the, there is a single pipeline how much is the discharge so increase in discharge first case one discharge q for a single pipe of length 1500 meter and the diameter d now for that we use the expression for head loss due to friction is single pipe which is hf is equal to flv square by pi g or even if you apply the bernoulli's equation here and here for single pipe we come to the same expression really up to the hf so the hf is equal to flv square by so and this is head loss due to friction so if, uh, here we can say the f value is given length is given only unknown is v so we can calculate v and with the help of uh, the formula q is equal to area and velocity we can calculate the discharge through the single pipe so this is the uh, discharge when there is a single pipe line is used now uh, the when an additional pipe of length to 750 meter and diameter 0 0.6 meter is connected in parallel with the last half length of the pipe then we can have uh, now consider the flow rate through a b c or a b d so these are the two parallel pipelines so a b c and a b d any anything we can consider 
so uh, head loss remains same so first we consider the head loss due to friction in a b c that is head loss in a b plus head loss in b c there are two head loss so uh, as a qp that is the total discharge that is equal to q1 plus q2 so this is the discharge when the parallel arrangement is used so this is not equal to this because in second case we have uh, modified the arrangement so for this marine arrangement so this is obviously an increased volume rate. Right? It seems to be because parallel arrangement is especially used to increase the discharge. So after all, uh, this value will must be greater than this value. It will, it will come. So Q P is equal to Q1 plus Q2. These are the relations. Now we can have Q1 that is equal to Q2 and that is equal to Q P by 2. Now head loss in HF. Uh, ABC that is equal to FL V square by twice GD. So this pipeline that is AB, AB is FL1 because here uh, in this particular pipeline uh, the, the discharge is QP. So QP square upon A1 A square that is instead of V we can put Q by A. So F1 L1 QP square upon A square upon YGD. So we write this expression instead of V, we have put Q by A, where the discharge in the pipe AB is Q. And secondly, that is F2 L2. Because here the discharge is half BC because Q1 is equal to, it is QP by 2, bracket square, and A square, because diameter everywhere is same, so areas are same. And divided by twice g. Now, uh, if we see this particular equation, that HF ABC uh, putting the values in the above expression because HF ABC is given, which is same. Uh, that is same. So uh, that is equal to already 0.3 that known to us. F1 uh, F is common here. We can take common. L1 L is also common because both pipes uh, have length these things uh, 2g d1 d2 so most of the terms only the difference is qp so all the values known to us only by putting the values we can calculate q so only unknown in this equation if we rearrange this only unknown in this equation is qp so qp comes around 0 0.87 meter cube per second so this is the discharge when the parallel arrangement is used now check uh, whether there is a discharge if is, or increase is there. So obviously there is increase because this value is greater than this value. So increase in discharge is QP minus Q. So it comes around 0 0.0183 meter cube per second. So this is a practical situation because uh, uh, most of the time, uh, instead of uh, increasing the diameter of single pipeline, it is recommended that if you have to increase the discharge, so most of the practical situation in irrigation system also, because in urban city, uh, mostly the population keeps going on or there is a, a development keeps going on. So if there is more population is there, more water supply required. Uh, so in order to increase the uh, that particular uh, or to meet the requirement of the occupancy, so generally, instead of uh, using a large, means replacing the entire diameter with the large diameter to increase the discharge. Same pipeline, if you connect some parallel arrangements, so that way we can increase the discharge as well. With minimum uh, pumping power, because here the head loss also is minimized considerably. So this knowledge we can use in actual practice, especially in irrigation supply line. Uh, this is This knowledge is very much essential to uh, analyze the flow uh, or to calculate the frictional losses, calculate the pumping power, uh, uh, designing the piping, the supply mains length, and uh, calculating the discharge like this. So all flow parameters, geometric parameters, we can calculate by using this theory. That's it from this particular session. At the end of this particular session, uh, you'll be able to explain uh, how the flow is taking place through the long pipelines, what kind of losses are considered, then uh, how the 
uh, how to analyze the compound pipelines, how to analyze the parallel array. And also you, you will be able to analyze the flow uh, or solve the numericals in following cases, that is compound pipeline, parallel pipelines, like this. That's it from this particular session. Thank you very much.